All right, welcome back to Shadow of Mordor, the Bright Lord DLC. Here we're, I guess this is part two. Uh, it's been a few days, so hopefully I haven't completely forgotten how to control my character in that time. It's been known to happen. But we're, we're pursuing another quest that should give us access to another, uh, oop, that was awkward. Give us access to another one of these towers we're trying to unlock. I think there's like five uh, petty mines. Take control of the region and construct a forge tower in defiance of the Dark Lord. Orchestrate an ambush of the local captain to clear the way for your forces. So we're going to be taking out a captain to, ca to capture a tower once again. You are vain, usurper. Fall on your knees before me, and I will make the deaths of your wife and child painless. They may return to the western shore as we stay here together. You are the master of lies. You think I am fool enough to believe they still live? After what you did to a region? You will be banished to oblivion while their spirits walk the western shore. So it looks like my objective once again is to brand 15 Uruks without being noticed. I think my, I have an objective to Shadowbrand archers. I, I assume Shadowbrand is the long range branding ability. I'm always bad with names, of course. It's kind of my thing. Hey, yeah, let's just let's claim it as if it's a positive trait. Okay, so let's try this. Oh, Shadowbrand. There we go. So if this works, there we go. One out of three. So I need to try to do that three times for my bonus objective. Granted, I'm fully upgraded already, so there's not necessarily like a reason to even care about bonus objectives. But when a game gives me special objectives, I just like to try to accomplish them. That's one of the things that adds a little texture to uh, some of these open world games for me, like Saints Row, GTA games like that, where they give you uh, bonus objectives from time to time. It's like, all right, a little bit of replay value. I guess Assassin's Creed does that, where it's like, oh yeah, let's do this mission in a very, in a slightly specific way, so that I have an extra thing to go for besides just getting to the end point. So that should be my third Shadow Branded Archer. So now it's just a matter of claiming people in general. Why are, you guys, why are you acting all hostile? I didn't fucking... We, we're fine. It's cool. So can I... The question here is, am I able to brand someone by dropping down on them is a question. Stealth brand. Yes, I can. If I do it without being noticed by that guy, I can get him in just a second here. Oh, there's three guys here. I have to move fast before one of them turns around or something. Come on. There we go. Seven. We're getting there. And that discon that concerning sound we just heard was the uh, ring becoming fully charged. Which you know, it's definitely it's oh god no! Don't be, don't attack me. It says without being oh. Seems to have been giving it to me. I was clearly detected, but I guess I wasn't detected enough. Okay, nine out of fifteen. My mistake. I thought it, I, I made the mistake of thinking he was he was not going to be looking directly at me. And he was looking directly at me, so that's what I get for making assumptions. So let's see, looking at the mini-map, no one looks like they're currently looking over here, so let's try to go for this dude. Hopefully no one will notice that I... making my way around. I will say this is a little repetitive to already be having a quest that's basically the one I just did. But at least I only... At, uh, worst case scenario though, at least I know that I only have to do these like five times. Is the other guy looking at me? No. I think he's upstairs. Keep an eye out. There he is. I see you. There we go. It is I never get tired of the teleport ability. Ooh, Burning Shadow. You've earned a trophy. I would look at it, but my internet's currently disconnected, so my PlayStation will freak out and get stuck on a progress bar if I actually try to look at it right now. So we'll just have to... We'll just have to guess what that thing means. It's probably for branding a lot of people without getting noticed or something. What do we have down there? Number 15 is what we have right here. I na I'll name you Jerry. Thanks for the objective, Jerry. So now we need to get to a vantage point. Oh! Oh no, someone noticed me. I didn't know there were still more guys to even notice me. Fuck it. Looks like I'm taking 16 of you guys. Enjoy. Good thing Calibrimbor is uh, unbelievably powerful. <laughs> and really capable. Alright, let's head on upstairs. Well, stairs. Calling, using the word stairs in reference to anything involving these ruins is... Uh, Generous, to say the least. <laughs> There's not really a whole lot left of anything around here. Come on. It's, it's. I'm glad that you're so swift at platforming in this game, because some of these structures would be really tedious and a more realistic platformer.
Well, we have a new friend. So what do we have down here? Snagog, the diseased. He's damaged by stealth attacks and combat fissures, but invulnerable to ranged. Uh, hates Karagors. AoE, hard to kill, fearless, heals, heals, and has extra followers. You know, a bunch of annoying traits. So specifically, unfortunately, they they're immediately are like, hey, check out this vantage point, but my vantage point's not as useful as I would hope it would be, because being all the way up here does not help me out that much. With At least I can't use the range attack on him, but if I'm lucky, it might be possible to do a stealth attack on him. Is he in range? Can I actually do this? Oh wait, there's no way they'll give it to me, will they? Nope. No. These towers will fall. Your pathetic army will fall. All who defy the Dark Lord will fall. You're gonna fall because I'm gonna make all your allies, your, all your allies join join me in a second here. All right, time to activate that one ring and poof, and poof, and poof. I don't even know. They probably already are on my team anyway, and we'll summon my allies. Can I do that? Did I already do it? We'll be fine. Uh, more branding. Is anyone left to brand around here? More branding. Fucking combat, combat finishers on this guy. I don't know. What can I charge over? I, I don't even need to do anything right now. I can just watch. Have fun, Snagog. I'm sure you'll do. I'm sure you're gonna have a great time right now. This is fun. I should go upstairs and just so get, I get a proper uh, line of sight of this. As we watch out, Orc on Orc. Uh, Oh man, he's like a really unpopular politician found in the wrong crowd or something. Oh, there's one, there's one dude that's not on my team. I know how to fix that by making him on my team. Ah, it's adorable. You thought you could have allies. Apparently, I could. Oh, I can summon more people. Is that because some of them died? Sure, why not? Let's do it. Now there's even more. Take it, Snagog. Oh yeah, he's invulnerable to range, so I can't shoot him. It's fun to watch though. <laughs> I mean, this is one way to make, way to, to make your character feel powerful, is make it so they don't even have to fight people one-on-one. -on -one. Let's start hitting him, though. Oh, right. He has a shield, so I can't hit him dead on. Just be careful about it. And finisher. Oh, that was a combat brand. My bad. I was trying to do a completely different type of move. Where is he? At? I'm actually losing track of him in the crowd. He's blocking! Stop blocking! I'm trying to do finishers on you like this. Stabby, stabby. I hope you, I hope you didn't need those organs. All right. I'm just gonna hit some of these guys, I guess. Why not? They're all in the way, and they can give me combat points. What have I done? Okay. <laughs> For a second there, I thought I just killed him. Guys, I can't. Guys, get out of my way! I'm trying to grab him. Guys. Oh, he's dead. Okay, cool. That was hard. <laughs> Mordor will be mine. Behold, my monuments of light. My power and grace will wash over this land. Region conquered. Tower built. How big is the region? Yeah, that's what I figured. I think there's only two towers left. Except for that's my third... I think that's my third one? And I think there's only five in the game. They definitely cover entire regions all at once. Your family will die. You will know nothing but hatred and despair. You will know darkness. I will know victory. I will know glory. I will know revenge. And you will know subjugation by my hand. So it says we can view the battlefield report. Let's take a look at that. Oh no, he's dead. So we have Crimp and we have Thrak on our team. Is Crimp someone... Was Crimp someone who was there when we killed the guy? Because that'd be cool if someone in mind control just automatically became a, a uh, officer. So we have a few quests to take care of in the area. Let's see what... Just whatever's closest, I figure, is a good way to go. Oh, closest thing is a war letter. So I'll head over there. It looks like there's a rune there too. Probably from the guy that just got killed because the game has an awkward tendency to teleport us to the top of towers when we kill people when maybe I want the rune they dropped. Yep, this is clearly where we were fighting a second ago. Alright, gimme. 88% chance to recover 25 health on a head explosion kill. I like the high chance of recovering health, but I don't do a lot of head explosions because that generally you have to brand someone first and at that point I want them alive as an ally. 
That said, I should probably just equip it, because I don't really have runes. I don't- oh no, it's the Assassin's Creed Unity problem where you're trying to go in through a window. What you just saw there was 90% of playing Assassin's Creed Unity, and that's why you should not play Assassin's Creed Unity. Because they're like, oh yeah, you should go inside of buildings all the time. It's like, no, but I can't find the- d no, where's the window? I can't find the open window. Now my character won't go in the open window, I can see. What a fun game. <laughs> That bright-eyed beggar's been turning us against each other. Just yesterday, we marched into battle, just like we'd done a dozen times before. Ready and itching for a bit of the old blood and bone to start flying. Then suddenly, out of nowhere, he's bang in the middle of us. A flash of light, and orcs all been fighting alongside each other for years, are at each other's throats! It's one thing for us Udu to murder each other. It's something else to have some elf using us as his toys! I love the idea that they're totally okay with the orcs murdering each other. It's just when they're it's just when they're murdering each other for someone else, then now it's a problem. Because all they ever do is kill each other anyway. So it's a dagger led it's a dagger uh, modifier. Why not? I've got nothing else to do with that slot. It's only a positive. So what do we have in the area? We have a new quest right outside. Lawless Disorder. Take control of the stronghold by dominating the local war chief. Make Uruks kill each other very quickly to draw out Akoth the Vile. Okay, interesting. So what I've heard about this DLC is that it has ten missions. And I think it has five towers, and we know it has five war chiefs. So I think our ten missions are all the towers and all the war chiefs. So, like, that's gonna be the entire... That might be the entire DLC. We'll see how it goes. Either way, always happy to have another excuse to play this game. I, I just I just have a good time, you know? It's a fun time. Take control of the stronghold by dominating the local war chief. Make Uruks kill each other quickly to draw out the, out the vial. Yes, I read that twice. See, repetition drills it into your brain. It's good for memory. You gotta make flashcards for this stuff. I shall purge this darkness. Cleansed by the light, a new army shall take hold. My army. Ma oh, God. Make 50 Uruks kill each other in four minutes. Um. Okay, well. Time for some branding. Don't mind me, just making you guys... Mine, because I need it. Don't run away from me, where are you going? Get up here. I should probably get to summoning my allies or something if I can. Press right on the D-pad to summon. Here come the bad guys. Oh, I dodged. It's cool. I'm just going to back off for a second here. Alright. Get a few hits in and I can do AoE brand, motherfucker. Alright, now we have the cool... No, there's the... Ow. Oh, there's, there's our timer. So I need to start hitting people. Ow. Ow. Okay, there's, we're a little crowded here. It's hard to tell where the bad guys are. So ideally, I probably want to spread out a bit, because if I because if I or, if I dominate two people in the same area, then they're all just going to kill each other too well. Now I want to make a mess out of this stuff. Oh, here's a bad guy. I'm going to teach you the real meaning of pain. This guy will probably be handy. Oh, he's immune to being jumped over apparently. They'll teach me to do that attack. Oh no, I'm in trouble now. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh no no. That is my cue to back the fuck off, because things are in danger. Oh. Hey everybody, how's it going? Ooh, I see Grog. Oh wait, I don't want to shoot the Grog, because I need them all to start killing each other. Hey, we dominate. Join me, everybody. Just keep killing each other. I don't know how I'm going to do this within the time limit. <laughs> I can't really control their own, uh, their own violence habits very well. Everyone join me. So ideally, I would get like 50-50 split between people that are on my team and people who aren't, right? Because if I make too many of them on my team, then I, I'm, they're not, they're not going to kill each other in big enough groups. I saw you coming, buddy. You ain't fooling me. Critical hits, motherfucker! Join me! Also, I need, you to, I need your help for a second here, because I'm running low on hit points. You can just give me a hand there. Let's find some archers. Make them on my team, maybe. I do have to be even about it, though, so it's a little tough. Let's see, it's- oh, this place looks like it could use some more people on my team. Hey, buddy. Don't mind me. I just attacked a wall. It's because I'm- I'm- I'm a graceful elf. Ow. Ow. I thought I was gonna interrupt that guy's move, but instead he just- he just sort of decked me. Huh? Okay. There's another chance to back off. 
Normally I wouldn't be this reckless about running into such big groups of enemies, but I, I have a time limit in which to make orcs kill each other. Oh, it looks like I'm about to succeed at it, too. Please do the AoE. Oh no, one of my teammates is dead. Not that guy. I didn't even, I didn't actually know he was here. <laughs> I guess he's here. Good for him, I guess. Did we win? Have we won? With the goal? We're pretty close. We need six more orc kills. At this point, I just... Oh, he hello, guy. Dodge, 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 dodge. Keep killing each other, assholes. Oh, shit. Are most of my allies dead? Because that's not good for my time for the effect, then. Uh, I need to get a little distance because there's so many of them right here. God damn it. Get out. Get out. Uh, running away at the... Oh, yeah. That, I'm in danger. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Climbing walls is bad. I'm in line of sight for too long. Okay. Is there an archer I can shoot? Oh, God. I didn't mean to jump off. My bad. Uh, fuck it. That guy's on my team now. Everyone fight this guy. I just need I just need six more orcs to kill each other for a second. Come on. If I can do it just a few more... Oh, yeah. Duh. One ring. Unlimited branding, motherfuckers. Now you're all on my team. Go fight each other. I'm gonna run. A, I'm gonna run away for a second here. I mean, everything's hurting me. Drain that. Oh, I already. I already have full hit points, so I'm fine. So really, I just need to. I just need to back off now. Do I? If I click both sticks, does it stop? No, it doesn't stop. I can't stop it. Oh, there goes my ring. I can't conserve any of what's left. So we have one minute left. Oh, I can grab this uh, relic. The whole. Yeah, they, they should kill each other just fine now. They're halfway there now. Thirty-one percent chance. What is it? 31% chance to recover 5 hit points on- Oh! On critical strikes! That's great! I do critical strikes all the time. That's just for hitting square without spamming. Alright, we've got one more kill. Come on, guys. There's, there should be enough of you in there for you to get one more kill. There it goes. I'm gonna go upstairs now because the bad guy's here. And I don't want to be caught on the ground. Good of you to call our weak. Now our strong shall repay you with death of your own. He seems nice. I'm gonna go upstairs now. Please, there we go. If I get upstairs for a bit, I can get I can assess the situation without being ambushed, because clearly some of them see me right now. Although I have enough allies in the area, I might be able to just attack him and summon them. Let's see if I can find out his uh, do I know his weaknesses and stuff? He's damaged by combat finishers, but he's invulnerable to ranged and stealth, so I have to fight him one-on-one -on -one to fight him. And he has a cool of- he's, he has a bunch of cool, uh... He has a bunch of cool of, uh, attacks he can use in, in melee range, so basically, all in all, not a good situation. Let's shoot some stuff, just to make a mess of things. Is there a Karagor I can unleash? Oh, there is. I should probably do that. This is- this is in the stage where I should probably cause just general mayhem. I can probably set him on fire, and that'd probably be handy. Where's the Karagor? Oh, there's, a, there's an archer, and he sees me. Let's just deal with that. Welcome to my team. I'm, don't mind me, I'm just gonna drain you for my elf shot back, now that I use it on you. There we go. Oh, his head exploded, I'm sorry. That was a little pointless. Is that where the Karagors are? They are. Karagors are right down there. If I unleash them, that'll help with, this, with a bit of the crowd control. One out. Two out. Have fun, guys. There's the, okay, so oh, there's the uh, war chief. He's he's spreading out a little bit. It looks like we have we have a lot of uh, we have a lot of freaking uh, random captains just in the area. We have that we have that guy. Mugrish, Mugrish the rat. Does this guy see me? Oh no, he's an archer. He's he's an archer. That could be that could be a trouble for me. That's our target, Takra, the unkillable. Always a good target to hear. Always a good name to hear for your enemy. Oh, never mind. That's not our target. Well, let's see how unkillable he is when bees land on him. Ooh, that guy's afraid of bees. Coolio. If he's terrified, he should be vulnerable to certain moves. Ah, oh, crap. I'm stuck on geometry. No! I'm not going to be able to catch him before he disappears. No! I wanted to make him join my team because I could use him against the other guys. Huh? Oh, I can't see him. Shit. Where, did, where is he? He's not where I was expecting him to go at all. Can I climb up a bit? If I can catch the terrified guy before he straight up vanishes, I can probably make him. Uh, br I can probably brand him. Oh, here's an here's an, here's an open. Go, finish him. Ah, uh, not successful. All right, I can work on this. Join me. Not not working yet. All right, I'll keep trying. It's cool. I'm patient. 
Join me. There we go. Now you feel no fear or whatever. I don't know, man. All right, so one of them was afraid of bees. That was handy. So now there's one less baddie to deal with and one more ally in that case, too. If nothing else, it'll probably serve as a distraction. So let's see if there's any other environmental elements I can use. Oh, fire. Hey, guys, come look at me. Oh, man, look at me. Isn't that crazy? You know nothing of suffering, but I can show you. I can show you the world. It's mostly on fire, so suck it. Yes, he's afraid of fire. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. All right. Oh, crap, it was unsuccessful. I have to weaken him and grab him. You look like a fish man, dude. You look like a fish man. Yo! Like a bit of Uruk fighting Uruk, do you? Join in, then. All right, the candlehead guy's probably not afraid of fire. I'm just gonna make a, a wild assumption there. Oh my god, he has explody shot. That's not cool. That's not cool at all. Okay, guess who's getting the fuck out of here? Ow. Explody shots are bad, explody shots are bad, explody shots are bad. Okay. So I almost had a good opportunity to take that guy out, but problems happened. Uh, bees! That'll, that'll defend my uh, retreat. Oh no, those guys are all on my team. That was kind of silly, wasn't it? Oh, that guy's still terrified. If I do this right, I can still catch him. There's my there's the one that's on my team over there, too. I got distracted by my almost death, but I can still potentially catch this guy. Oh, he's in the open. He's not even hanging out properly with his friends. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Buddy, I need you to come back here. Buddy. Buddy. Join me on the dark side. Or, the, I mean, the bright side, because I am I am Mr. Brightside. <laughs> Calibrimbor, the bright lord. And also a killer's reference, apparently. All right, that's two allies down. So our war chief only has two friends left, and one of them's pretty injured right now, which is also a good sign for me. So this is, all in all, this is going fairly well for me. Oh, they're all just hanging out in the open. Let's go ahead and sneak away for a second. Don't want to don't want to jump straight into that. Can I hop up over there? Please, there we go. Ooh, bees. I can make funsies with that. So can I can I hop over him? I can. Fun. That's fun. Oh, that was an unsuccessful dodge. That's, that was a bad idea. Uh, he's immune to range, so I can't use that either. Let's look for environment stuff again. Ooh, fire. My favorite. Hey, guys. You want to play with some fire? It's cool. Let's summon some friends, too. Those guys should, those guys should be here soon. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and join, get some guys on my team around here. Because I can't. Ow. Because I can. Ow, no. Fire, da fire shots are bad. How dare you. Ooh, that guy's really weak right now. Can I take him out? He's invulnerable to range, because of course he is. I'm just gonna run away for a second then, and shoot this fire, maybe? How's everyone feeling right now? Ow. That guy just rammed me. Please don't die. Please do not count as a death. Oh, cool, I just got back up. And he's chasing me. Is that guy invulnerable to ra Hate of bur- oh. Oh wait, that's good, he's on my team. Good. Like, oh, I can summon a Karagor. And dodge, maybe? Because, yep, I knew they were gonna be shooting at me. Hey, fire guy. Oh, he's invulnerable. Yeah, that's the same guy that's invulnerable to range. He's just... Oh! Please don't count as a kill. Oh, no! Damn it. I won't have to answer to anyone after this. I'll soon be a captain. And things were going so well. Alright, let's see how the hierarchy continues. Though I did get a lot of allies now, so that could be handy. Oh no, we killed that one guy! Now we'll never know what his name was. Poor that guy. <laughs> Alright, can I get the fast forward button or something? At some point it's like, this is too long. Uh, so... Is Mosul on my so we have we have at least three guys on my team, which is good. Now I can always just go after the target again, which I will in a moment here. Taking hold of you, Calibrimbo. The menace of your power and doom grows ever stronger. I gaze upon you in despair. For Unfinished business. Akoth the Vile is savoring your defeat. Unfortunately, oops, I was moving again, so I walked out of it. Unfortunately for him, I'm not dead. Echo the Vile has arrived. Arkoth. Arkoth. 
I definitely am amused by the fact that you can clearly see one of my allies hanging out right next to him. So I assume the moment I attack, he's just gonna turn on him. Up oh, there, there's, a, there's the vial. Does he see me? Is he coming after me? Hey, I, hey, buddy, buddy. Oh, they're fighting my allies. Good. Ooh, I can attract a Karagor. That'll be fun. Hey, Karagor. Please don't attack me. Attack the other guys. That'd be cool. Oh, another Karagor. All right, I'm just gonna hop up here real quick before all these Karagors cause me problems too. This will be fun to watch. Oh, that guy's scared. A fear of a fear of Karagors. Okay. We're learning things about Mr. Candlehead. Okay. Let's see if I can capitalize on the situation by dominating him. Oh, hate of Karagors, but he's my ally, so that's good. Oh, God damn it! you attacked me while during a cutscene. Rude. Oh, 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 I, I gotta leave this fight. I gotta leave this fight. I gotta leave this fight. I gotta leave this fight because Mr. Green is running away. I need you to join me, buddy. Oh, there are a number of people here to, that are terrified of- Oh! I need, to, I need to dominate some of these people because it's hard for me to deal with the fact that there's so many of them right now. Everyone join me! If you all join me, I don't have to deal with the fact that you're all trying to attack me right now! Ow. You fucked up my combo, buddy. How dare you. I could brand some more of you assholes. Join me! Oh, cool. I just I dominated him with it. That's good. Alright. Even more of that guy's troops are joining me. I'm just going to try to avoid that Karagor. So this guy's bad, and there's the, there's the chieftain right there. What I'm quite, what I don't understand though is how do I dominate him exactly? Do I just have to use the ring power? I, I can kill him, but how do I? How do? You, it might be hard to dominate a, a chieftain. Ask my master to leave you alive, so I can cut you slow and make you scream. How rude! Ow! He's grabby, grabby. Oh man, he grabby. Okay. Best move at this point is just to try to dominate more people in the area. Because that guy's fighting that guy one-on-one -on is going to be tough. I don't need him. I need I need an army of Pikmin. Okay, AoE brand, go. Just got to keep that chain going. Thankfully, I'm fully upgraded from the main campaign, so I generate stuff super fast. I have taken a lot of hits, though, so I'm going to get out of here. Oh, I see you, buddy. I see you coming after me. Can I? Am I able to... Oh, he's trying to knock me down. He's trying to throw things at me. Incredibly rude. And I have escaped. Okay, anyone up here? I'll just dominate them if there is. Oh, I see you. You're not shooting me. I'm too close to succeeding to let you take me out. Alright. Shoot some bees just to cause some general mayhem in the area. I also walk directly into it like an idiot. I'm gonna drain this guy for hit points because I need them. There we go. Sorry about that. Uh, where's Akoth? Akoth the Vile's hanging out in the middle of the area, getting a big fight. Let's try to dominate some more guys over here. These guys look pretty vulnerable to it. And slam. Come on and jam. <laughs> and AoE. And let's make a let's make an explosion. Whee! <laughs> that was dumb. Alright, so I'm gonna go up to Akoth now that my ring's active. And just start going spammy! One of these has to eventually make him on my team, right? I got this. I got this. Come on. Join me, fucker. Oh, can I just grab him? I think I can just grab him. No, get off of me. I'm trying to grab the bad guy. God damn it. <laughs> I was clearly trying to grab this dude. You are strong. You have a dark heart. Finish me, evil one. You will True power, Sauron. The light will always prevail. All who resist will be burnt by it. All right, we learned something important there. So I was sitting there trying to grab him and actually manually uh, brand him, but it looks like once you once you beat down a warchief enough, that you go into the execution mode just like you would normally. 
Uh, and during that execution animation, you dominate them in instead. So it's a pretty straightforward case of basically just beat up some more chiefs until they submit and then uh, brand them because that's just what the game lets you do. All right, so we did one tower and one war chief. Uh, we have a good little episode length going on too. So I'll, th I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, like always. And uh, next time, I'll probably do another tower and another war chief. Just keep it consistent, I guess. All right, thanks for watching.